senators. Um, Dr. Carl, did you have anything to do with the decision to appoint Dr. Carl? That was no, sir. nothing to do. I mean, is it unusual for a scientist to endorse a report they haven't read? Uh, I am. Um, I think I don't. Th th there are all sorts of assumptions in your question, which I don't know whether they're correct or not. So I think. Well, um, he's admitted he hasn't read it. That's. Do, is it unusual for a scientist to endorse a report they haven't read? That seems really strange to me. Well, that's a matter for Dr. Carl, I think, not me. Um, do, you, do you feel comfortable about paying a high-profile scientist to endorse a report that you haven't that that no. that he hasn't yeah, read? That's, so, that's asking Senator, that's I, I think that the best way to answer your question is that uh, uh, there are um, guidelines and procedures and practices that need to be followed in all of these cases and. Um, uh, I am comfortable that the people responsible are doing everything they can to follow those guidelines, practices and procedures. So, so you're not worried that the public might actually think he's read the report while he's out there spruiking it? It's not up to me to worry about those sorts of things. <laughs>